it's, it's, it's Muhammad a prophet. Yeah, in my eyes, he's a prophet. According to the Bible. In my... <laughs> according Bruh. to the when you, you do know in the Quran that the Quran says the only prophets are the children of Israel. Once you learn that you're in this life, what should you do? Right. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? What's your name? Alan. Alan. Carlos. Alan. Carlos. Justin. Read that again from the top. And now, Israel. Now, Alan. Now, Carlos. Now, Justin. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of each and every one of you? Me? But to fear the Lord thy God. You're supposed to fear God. You're supposed to fear the judgment for being disobedient. That's hey. right. To walk in all his ways. You're supposed to walk in all his ways. Me. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And with all thy soul. You got to serve God with all your heart and with all thy soul. We can't make an excuse. When we hear what God wants us to do, guess what? We supposed to obey it quickly. So we're supposed to obey the laws, right? Right. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. That's how we fear him. That's how we serve him. That's how we love him. By keeping the commandments of God. The law, the law of the truth. Exactly. The laws of the truth. They be sitting there talking about, oh, you can sit up here and do whatever you want to do as long as you ask God for forgiveness. I said, why he going to keep forgiving you for everything that you already know you don't to do? The pastors of one said it, right? That's a good teaching. Give me uh, Isaiah 56. She asked a good question. She said, why are they setting up in these churches telling us why we ain't got to keep God's law? Remember, remember what Christ said. Remember what Christ said. He said, many are going to come in his name. Christian, your pastor, saying to Christ and shall be what? Receive many leaders. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. His watchmen that's, are... That's your pastor, your priest. They both be watching. His watchmen are blind. They are what? Are blind. When you're the watchman, if you can't see nothing, how can you lead somebody? You understand? He said the watchmen are blind. And what are they blind to? They're blind to the laws and commandments that God has commanded you to follow. They're blind to the fact that they're serving their enemy. They're blind to the fact that they're following a false Christ. They're blind to the fact that we are the Israelites. Read. They are all ignorant. They are all what? Ignorant. All your pastors are ignorant. So Read. Hold on, sis. Hold on, sis. 
Oh, they are church. all dumb dogs. They are what? Dumb dogs. All your pastors are dumb dogs. That's right. Read. They cannot bark. They cannot what? Cannot bark. What does a dog bark for? Food. Well, how about this? If you got him in your house, what do you want him to do? If he barking, he's what? Warning you. Danger. Right. right. He said they cannot bark. They right. cannot warn you of the danger that's coming. Bring right. it out. That's why God had to send out prophets to tell and instruct our people. He's sending out real prophets. He said, go to the highways and byways, to the chief place of concourse where the people be, to compel them to what? Come back and serve him. Read. Sleeping. Lying down. Loving to slumber. That's what they do. They sleep and they lay down. They lay they won't go in this Bible and study it. They won't go and read. They won't do the work. Read. Yay. They are greedy dogs. They are what? Greedy dogs. How many times did that collection plate get passed around? And they don't pay no taxes. Right. They greedy they dogs. No they greedy dogs. All they want is your money. They want 10% of your money. Where, the, where, the, where tithing was never money. Read. Which can never have enough. They can never have enough. Just my dollar asked for a sixty-five million dollar jet. No toilets. Why wouldn't he say, you know what? Give me sixty-five million dollars so I can create businesses for my people, so I can help them get out of poverty, so I can help uh, get rid of this crime, help, so I can help uh, get our children educated. Why wouldn't he ask for sixty-five million dollars for that instead of a sixty-five million dollar toy that he can fly all over the country to get more money? That's what doesn't happen because we've forsaken God. We've fallen these people that cannot teach. We follow false prophets. So now God said, what does he require of you? We come back to his law, statute, and commandments. You understand? So how many commandments are there? No? She said 12. How many you say? 10. Oh, I'm sorry. But now, I believe it was laws before the laws. Too, well, if there was laws before the laws, that means there was laws added to those laws. But he stood out. That's how I'm going to No, no, watch this. God, give me proof. I can go with some stuff you say, and some stuff I'm going to be like, still with either people. Watch this. You know what's going to happen? It's like this right here. Remember, God said we rejected what? His laws. So guess what? When you hear, say, when you even know, you come out your mouth and say, there's going to be some laws I accept and some laws I'm going to be against. It's because the laws that you want to do, you obey. The laws that the laws that affect your spirit, you're going to say, you know what? I don't believe in that. Watch this. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This Bible is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endureth forever. How long does the law endure? That endureth forever. No, for a short period of time. Forever. The laws are forever. Just like if you got room for your children, you said, y'all can't smoke in my house. You That shit didn't change when they got 18. That didn't change when they decided to move out. Guess what? The laws still apply in your house. God's laws still apply. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. All they that keep God's laws, they gonna come to life. They gonna come back to being an Israelite. They gonna come back to being his child. They gonna stop being mentally enslaved. They gonna stop being mentally dead. They gonna now have the knowledge and wisdom to uplift their people out of captivity. You understand? Read. But such as leave it, but such that don't give a damn about his laws, shall die. Shall what? Shall die. They shall die. This is death. Slavery is death. Going, working on a white man's job 10, 12 hours a day is death. Getting locked up in their prisons is death. That ain't life. That ain't heaven. We are in hell right now on this earth, serving our oppressors. And the only way to come back to life is to come back to his laws. We gotta do what? Come back to his laws. I'm gonna give you a simple law. Tell me if this law is hard to keep. Tell me, is rulership of the earth worth keeping this law? Leviticus 21 and 5. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. We get old. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So, God said you shouldn't shave your hair bald like Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan. 
So if you used to shaving your head, Paul, should you stop? Are you gonna stop? I'm gonna shave it. All praise. I you got cut it low. Guess it's what? It's That's good. It's good. That's good. Yeah. Watch this. Listen to this next part. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall you shave off your beard. Is the kingdom of heaven worth you growing your beard? Ye shall make you no idols 
nor graven image. You don't supposed to make you no idols, no graven image. In Mecca, they have what you was called a cobblestone. You know what a cobblestone is? You know what that is? You know the people from Mecca? They go around that cobblestone. You know what that cobblestone is? It's a meteorite. That's what they're praying to, a meteorite. Read that again. He shall make you no idols, nor a graven image. Uh-huh. Neither rear you up a standing image. Read. That's that step that rear you up that standing image. Read. Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. Don't they bow down to it? Don't they go around it seven times? Yes. That's your Arab. Give me that uh, give me the curse. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Watch them. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So were we not scattered amongst all people? Read. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. We were scattered from one end of the earth to the other end. Read. And there. And there, once you got into those lands. Thou shalt serve other gods. We shall serve other gods. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our forefathers didn't know these gods that we would worship. Read. Even wood. And even what? Even wood. Wood represents this right here, Christianity. And stone. Stone represents what? Islam. The two largest religions on earth that our people would serve. Right. You understand? And they have done nothing for our people because the only thing that's going to bring us to life, the only thing that's going to bring us out of captivity is God's commandments. Right. Guess what we have never practiced? God's commandments. We don't keep God's laws. We do every damn thing else in the world except for keeping God's laws. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.